Hello, my awesome and amazing Virgos. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Let's see what's going on in the overall energy dynamics. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Virgo viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. And for whatever reason, my dog is starting to act up. What is going on, Toto? Got, lay down, baby girl. There you go. Okay. Power number six. Power number four. And power number six again. So six, four, six. Okay. Looking at the numbers, six and four is 10. 10 and six is 16. What is 16 in tarot? The tower card. Mm. You could be going through a tower moment right now, Virgo, for some of you. It could be about an unexpected breakthrough or something has to come crumbling down to the ground in order to get what you want. It could be dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio, picking up on... Um, Aries and Taurus through the power of number four. You could also be dealing with a Gemini and or a Cancerian born in the month of June. Definitely picking up on Capricorn, Aquarius, Gemini again, Gemini energy. You could be 41 or 46 years old. You could also be 61, 64 or possibly 66 years of age for my more mature audience. Okay, so going to the power of number 16 for the beautiful star sign of Virgo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Okay. Trusted ancestors of my Virgo viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective energy, please? What does Virgo need to know at this time frame? Show me what's up. Okay. Page of Pentacles. In the reverse. Breadcrumb text messages or no communication or somebody is lessening their communication with you or you could be in no communication with someone because of your choice. Somebody may have a difficult time trying to figure out how to communicate with you, Virgo. This, is, this could be a child. Could be having parental issues right now with your children. There's power number four. Number four came up on the second roll of the dice. The Emperor. Virgo, it could very well be true. You're looking away from something or someone or somebody's way of communicating with you. Or your person may be giving you the cold shoulder right now. A breakdown in communication. Somebody could be trying to overstep their bounds with you. Trying to find some way to have a sense of superiority over you. I'm hearing the phrases gaslighting and ghost, ghosting. Yeah, cold shoulder for sure. Somebody's giving somebody the cold shoulder. Or trying to control a situation here. 
Okay, full of cards coming up in the reverse in my hands. Okay, I feel like this energy is 50-50 because I feel that some of you Virgos want to take a leap of faith or move on from a situation, but something could be holding you back or clinging or hanging on to someone. This is also Aries energy. You may feel stuck or trapped in a situation. Maybe not for trusting your intuition. You may be wanting to have a new beginning with someone, but they could be giving you the cold shoulder. I'm picking up on argumentative energy. Kind of tit for tat, kind of tug of war. Picking up on a tug of war type of energy going on here. I think somebody is falsifying that they want to have commitment with you, Virgo. Maybe it's you. Maybe, maybe you're uncertain about giving somebody full blown out commitment. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini born in the month of May. Wheel of Fortune coming up in the reverse. Somebody feels that they have some kind of quote unquote bad luck. Or something's not working out or there is karma going on right now. Yeah, here we go. Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. There could be somebody in your environment, Virgo, that is giving you headaches right now. Stressed, mentally stressed. If you're dealing with a specific person right now, this person could be highly uh, inconsistent. Confusing you. I feel that there are trust issues that could be going on in a situation. There was a breakup, a split, a separation, possible divorce. Or there's a breakup coming. Somebody is no good. Yeah. Star card in the reverse on the bottom of the deck. Somebody is no good for somebody here. It's not a healthy divine union of something. This person, Virgo, could have projected themselves to be a particular way with you to maybe try to win you over, Virgo. But it's false. I'm picking up false energy going on. Let's go into the Kipper deck. I feel like somebody is lying about their whereabouts or when they go out. Unexpected income. Somebody might owe you money right now, Virgo, and they're not paying it. Pathway. You may be trying to take the high road right now to keep your mental sanity. There could be children involved. You could be waiting for child support payments and it's not coming in. Somebody could be a deadbeat dad or deadbeat mom. Toil and labor in a relationship, a connection, and or a marriage. Imprisonment. Again, somebody feels stuck or that they got bad luck going on here. Poverty. Feeling a sense of lack. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Somebody is falsifying their feelings or their affections. Picking up that somebody is an opportunist or trying to take advantage of you 
or has taken advantage of you before in the past. Whoever this person is, the way I'm seeing it, it could be a friend, it could be a family member or a potential suitor. They're bad juju. That's what I'm picking up. They're bad juju. There's something off with this person, Virgo. They're not, what I'm picking up is that this person is not honorable. They're fake. They're false. They're keeping you stuck or trapped in a situation. Or this person, if you're hanging and clinging on, feeling stuck in your mind, because I can look at the imprisonment card is like the Eight of Swords in Tarot. This person could be keeping you all stuck or trapped up in your mind right now. Like, again, the personification that this person is so wonderful, quote unquote, but they're not. This person's going to end up breaking your heart. And I feel that this person that you could be dealing with, Virgo, is not exactly mentally stable. I'm picking up clinginess, codependency. Again, arguments. Could be arguments about the future. You never know. I can look at a scenario in one perspective. Virgo, maybe you feel like you've got the clinch on you right now. And this person that you're dealing with could be trying to force or beg or plead you to either A, be in a relationship or commitment with you, or you're already with them, but maybe you're having second, like second thoughts about whether or not to give commitment to this person because of their whole demeanor. Like their true, I almost feel like this person's true self is starting to reveal itself. Now in some scenarios, very small percentage, you could literally be dealing with somebody who is incarcerated right now. And you could be, you know, waiting for them to get out of jail. And maybe they have projected that, oh, they're going to have this beautiful life with you. Proceed with caution. Because this person may put you in lack again. A lot of variable storylines I'm picking up on. Cold shoulder, breadcrumbing. They only come in when they need something. Only come in when they need money. I feel like there's a lot of lies, lies, lies going on about the future. About real commitment. Or somebody is avoiding commitment, prolonging things, saying things that they don't mean, future faking I'm picking up on. Whew. It's going to the hidden truth, <clears throat> hidden truth oracle. It was my fault, but I blamed you. So again, argumentative energy could have been kicking in. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I think this person knows that they messed up with you, Virgo, big time. We both know I'm not the one for you. Like I said, I was picking up somebody. There's a person that has bad juju. And they, yet they can't stop thinking about you. So somebody is driving themselves crazy, the toil and the labor. I can't help but not feel that there may be some form of an obsessive compulsive attitude that's going on. You were the best thing in my life. Somebody chose a third party over you, Virgo. And now I'm picking up that this person has regret. Unless if you have regret for choosing somebody now and then the truth is getting revealed about someone. 
you might have rejected somebody in the past that you could have been highly, you know, attracted to, but maybe you just felt like that person wasn't kicking it for you. I don't know. Just take the roles how they resonate. But somebody I feel is in regret here knowing that their fate and their destiny was somewhere else with a better person and whoever chose a third party or chose something out yonder, bad luck. Like things are falling apart. There's a sense of lack going on here. Somebody feels that the two of you are going to be back together again or wanting to get back to where things used to be on the bottom of the deck. I bury myself in work to forget about you. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, picking up on Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, picking up on fire element, Aries, Leo, Sag, picking it up through the statements, the elements, I'm not really sure how I'm going to title this because there's so much chaotic drama, chaotic drama that's going on here. That's keeping somebody stuck or trapped. That could be you or they're keep, you know, they're keeping you stuck and trapped. This person Virgo is false. They are not a divine counterpart. They're not who they say they are. That's what I'm picking up on. Or somebody is falsifying that they want to have the long-term commitment and then there is going to be a split or a breakup which could send somebody into this obsessive compulsive thinking on how to win or get this future ex back or whatever the case may be. But there is some form of argumentative energy. This, there's a missing link. This is what I'm hearing. There's a missing link in this connection. It's highly frustrating, but there's some form of bad juju. This person, their energy around them in their auric force field is toxic. You got to focus in on you, Virgo. You have to get on that path of least resistance for your ultimate happiness. Otherwise, in some scenarios and whoever resonates with this reading listen you are in the driver's seat at all times somebody is trying to latch or cling onto you or keep you locked up like not to leave them and you could be fearful to leave them for fear that they're gonna go cuckoo like cuckoo for cocoa puffs i feel that there was cheating a lot of cheating, deception, lies about where their, their comings and goings. And a breakdown of communication or communication is false. But somebody's taking the blame. Somebody was pointing the finger at you, maybe making you feel like you weren't doing enough or whatever the case may be. Mm, mm. Now, this, hmm. I know that there's probably a lot of feelings going on, but this is not fate and destiny because the wheel of fortune is saying no. No, whoever this person is that's keeping you stuck or from moving forward, they have, an, they have like cloudiness, dark energy in and around them. They are, I feel like this person is obsessive compulsive. I don't need to see the devil card because this person, somebody here cannot stop thinking about somebody and the, with the toil and labor and it's like obsessing over marriage or, or the future. Or are we going to get married? And somebody feels like they're being pushed or backed up into a corner right now. Mm -mm. So Take a time out, Virgo. Go breathe. Go ground your energy. If this person is making you feel off balance, if they are breadcrumbing you, if there, if you feel that there is no forward movement, you become the forward movement and you work in on self-concept and 
you go do you. Because this person, whoever you're dealing with or who ever could be of potential interest or again, it could be a friend or family member. You need to walk away from them. Bottom line. My awesome and amazing Virgos, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at blue scorpion gifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant Victoria will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, take care.